what's up guys? Rungan Vapes coming at you with another mod review. So guys, we are taking a look at the Air 50. I've told you guys in the last couple videos that we were going to be reviewing this mod and for good reason. I love the mini mods. Mini Volt, you guys saw the video I was a big fan of. I knew there could have been some improvements on that, but Smoke Joy has brought out a product that I don't know. I don't know if I have too many add-ons or too many improvements I can come up with. But the Air 50 is a temperature control 50 watt device, and it is small. I left it in the box here so you guys can take a look. Their professional packaging. I really like their packaging. It's a 1200 mAh battery, as it says right there. It does titanium, nickel, and stainless steel TC, which is pretty crazy for a mod of this size. Because when we pop this out, man, that's cool. Underneath the mod, before we get into that, is going to be. God, they have crazy packaging. Just a uh, USB cable, vape band, and a tiny little instruction book for a tiny little mod, I guess. So we'll put this back together and we'll show you the mod here. This thing is tiny. I mean, tiny. I wish I still had a mini volt. I gave it away. I think I passed it on to somebody, but tiny, tiny. What I'm going to do is I'm going to compare this to a lighter. That is a normal Bic lighter. You see how small this mod is? It is just insanely small. Uh, Spring-loaded 510, gonna be made out of zinc alloy and uh, aluminum alloy and zinc, yeah. So uh, the display, we'll get that up close, but it's super, super, super clean. Um, real bold, real bright, real clean finish. Uh, the spring-loaded 510, just a small warning. I've got uh, a local shop here that sells these. They've had a couple problems with the 510 connection. I've had quite a few different tanks on here. I haven't had a problem at all, but I guess they have had a couple of returns, so I just kind of baby that 510 just in case. But like I said, I have not had a problem at all, and I've used this quite a bit. A 1200 mAh battery, obviously the downfalls are going to be, you know, for serious vapors. It's not going to last you that long. But uh, I don't think that's why we buy a device like this. I think it's awesome, you know, for a night out, tucking it in the pocket, um, putting, you know, like a Nautilus X on here, running low wattage, or even like a TFV Baby or whatever they call the mini one now. Um, looks pretty cool on here. I've seen some people with both of those. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those people who have 100 mods and 100 tanks behind me because I pass them on. I use them and pass them on. I don't, I don't understand the reviewers that build this, like, crazy collection of of you know entry level devices it's like pass them on that's what i do so i don't have a lot of those but i am going to show you what it looks like with a cleo which is my main tank of choice as you all know and you put that on the cleo i mean it's bigger than the mod but it's still pretty stealth this is how i've been using it tucking it away in the pocket at 40 watts, we'll jack this up to 40. It goes anywhere from 7 watts to 40 watts. Runs down to 0.2 in power mode, 0.15 in TC. So uh, you're not going to be able to build super low on this, but that's not the point of a mini mod anyway, so not a downfall at all. We're going to run this Clio here at 40 watts. This is the 0.4 coil. And it blows just like any other device. Um, one thing I'm surprised about on this mod is just instant fire. I mean, as soon as I push the button, I'm vaping. Which, for a device this small, I expected there to be some lag. There are with a lot of the smaller mods. This is an instant fire. You hit the button, you're vaping. There's no lag, there's no warm-up. It's just boom. So I can say that's, you know, a true 50 watts. Because it's actually firing like it should at 45 watts. And uh, at 50 watts, in fact, let's crank this up to 50. And it's just perfect. Perfect. I am vaping... Oh, I am vaping a new orangeicle flavor from Longboard Vapor out of Cream Vapor right now. Pretty outstanding. It's the best orangeicle I've ever had, by the way, if you guys are looking into an orangeicle. I'll be reviewing that in the next couple weeks here, though. Longboard's a great new line from Cream Vapor. Super, super excited for what Cream Vapor is doing. A lot of big stuff. I'm going to be working with them a lot this fall at a few expos as well. So, if you guys are going to be in Phoenix or San Antonio at Vapor Dynasty Expo, I'll be there uh, with the Diamond Sponsor, Elixir Labs, and Creams. So, uh, excited for those two events. 
But yeah, I'm really digging this. I love the size. I love the durability. It feels strong. I guess just that 510 watch out for. But yeah, vape's nice. Vape's great. Instead of doing a close-up on this, just because there's not much to show you, I am going to show you the display here. And uh, we will uh, get you guys on the road. I don't like to keep you guys all day, you know? So let me turn this on. And, like I said, you were going to be able to go down to point two on power mode, point one five on TC. So, three clicks is going to take you into your mode setting. Uh, you're going to have power, nickel, titanium, stainless steel, bypass. Um, interestingly enough, on this one, you are not going to be able to... Uh, vape it while it's charging, which kind of surprised me with the technology. I know it's small, but you are not going to be able to do that. You can run this in bypass mode, just like a mech mod, which is crazy for a battery that small. But I'm really digging the uh, font on there. It's pretty good. Hopefully that's focusing for you guys. It's really bold. And then uh, obviously it gives you your ohms and your volts. So pretty good battery meter. For a 1200 mom mini, mini mod, I mean, it's just exceptional, guys. It's clean. It looks good. Um, put a little tiny, you know, Nautilus X on there or something, and I think this would be a great little starter device. Just the battery life is going to be the only knock, but that's not why we buy these again. Uh, price point, it's not going to break yet. I've seen it online for 30 35 40 bucks at several different websites. So just Google the Air 50, or more importantly, find a shop in your area that carries it. I know here in town we got Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Vaporium is uh, stocking these pretty good, so they've sold quite a few of these. But, uh, yeah, so I am a big fan. I'm going to give this two thumbs up. I am definitely going to be using it. I have been using it for a while, and uh, I, I need to find a smaller tank for it, though. I don't know if it'll be the Nautilus X or uh, maybe, you know, just a smaller RTA, a 2 mil capacity RTA tank something like that but big win if you guys are looking for a miniature mod i think this is a huge step in front of the mini volt um i think this is a big step up from that so uh so yeah much more durable doesn't feel as cheap doesn't look as cheap so big win i will put the info below a couple links where you can buy this for affordable prices uh there are a couple sites that i'm not familiar with but I know they're legit. I've heard of people ordering them from before. One's GearBest, and I'll throw another one down there too. As always, all my info will be in the info below. If you liked what you heard today, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. I don't give a fuck. So, uh, most importantly, if you like what I do, if you like watching the videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And check out some videos in the near future. There's going to be a lot going up this week. So, uh, thanks you guys for all your support. I love doing what I'm doing. I'm going to be on the road like crazy for the next two months. I'm in St. Louis, or I'm in Kansas City next week, Nebraska the week after that. Going to be doing St. Louis and Phoenix shortly after that. Uh, the next big show for me, guys, I was going to be at Midwest Vapor Expo um, this weekend, Labor Day weekend, but I'm not going to make it out to that. I think the next big show I'm doing is going to be in November at Vapor Dynasty. Uh, I might hit one or two smaller ones before then, but that's going to be the next big one. Vapor Dynasty, Mesa, Arizona, Phoenix area. Uh, if you guys are around that area, make sure you come out and see us. But uh, thanks again for all you guys do. As always, vape on, guys.